Welcome to this tutorial. Here we're going to be explaining and building a simple news app that gets its data from REST API and also caches the data locally in the devices. It's a lot of work, patience and focusing on how we will implement each part of the app in a very pretty clean way. And the final results will be awesome. In this tutorial we will use clean architecture. We had a quick look at clean architecture before. If you haven't watched that video, please go watch it and then come to this tutorial. The first thing we need to do is to add the packages that we need to use in the project. The first package we add is Flutter block, which we will use to manage the state. We will also use the equatable package, a Flutter package that makes comparing Dart objects by equality is much easier. We use this package in block states classes. The next package is Getit. This is a simple service locator for Dart and Flutter projects with some additional goodies highly inspired by Splat. It can be used instead of inherited widget or provider to access objects from our UI. We also need the Intel package for the date format. The next package is Floor. Floor is a type-safe, reactive, lightweight source code generator package that uses the SQLite to store its data locally. It's again inspired by Android Room. To make requests to the API we use Retrofit. Retrofit is a source code generator package that uses Dio as an HTTP client to generate the proper methods that we need to deal with REST APIs based on abstraction. It's inspired by the Android Retrofit. The next package is Flutter Hooks. Hooks are a new kind of object that manage the life cycle of a widget. They exist for one reason, increase the code sharing between widgets by removing duplicates. And finally, we should also use the cache network image package. This is a Flutter library to show images from the internet and keep them in the cache directory. Also before we forget, we must add retrofit and floor generators along with build runner and dev dependencies. Our work is almost finished in pubspec. Here at last we just have to define the fonts that we will use in the project. Now we go to the folder structure. As we mentioned before, we will use clean architecture in this project. The first folder that we need to create is the Features folder. Every feature that the app has is placed inside this folder. For example, Display Daily News is a feature. Every feature of the app will be divided into three main layers, Presentation, Domain, and Data Layers. So for each feature we have to create these three folders. As we said before, the Presentation layer has three parts called Pages, State Management for example Block and the Widgets part. The domain layer has three parts called use cases, entities, and repository. We will create these as well. And finally we have to create folders for the data layer. In the data layer, we have three parts named repository, data sources, and models. Apart from the features folder we can have other folders in the project. Usually we have two folders, config and core. In the configs folder we put project related configurations such as theme or routes. And in the core folder we usually pull anything which has to be shared between multiple features into the core folder such as util or use cases. We may create some folders later. In the next part, we will go to the features folder and start implementing different parts of the features. So stay with us and make to sure hit the subscribe button to get next video.